None of you panic. Absolutely no reason to panic. Oh, and you'd know, of course. Yes, I would. You're already the best parents in the world. Look at all the practice you've had. What practice? Well, you're hardly going to need me around now that you've got a real baby on the way. What about John Watson? John? Hmm. It's been two years he's got on with his life. Short version. Not dead. Maybe he wasn't quite as keen as I was, but I, I just thought at least he'd called to say that we were finished. This blog is the story of two men and their frankly ridiculous adventures of murder, mystery and mayhem. But from now on, there's a new story. A bigger adventure. It changes people, marriage. No, it doesn't. Well, you wouldn't understand because you always live alone. So this, you stay here if you want, on your own. Alone is what I have. Alone protects me. No. Nope. Friends protect people. Marriage changes you as a person in ways that you can't imagine. This is what people do, Sherlock. They get married. I warn you. Don't. Get involved. Involved but not involved. No. John asked me to be his best man. How could I say no? Absolutely. Not involved. I believe you. Really, I do. Enjoy not getting involved, Sherlock. All lives end. All hearts are broken. Caring is not an advantage, Sherlock. A little bit like my dad. When he was dying, he was always cheerful. He was lovely, except when he thought no one could see. I saw him once. He looked sad. Mommy? You look sad when you think he can't see you. My best friend, Margaret, she was my chief bridesmaid. We were going to be best friends forever. We always said that. I remember she left early. I mean, who leaves a wedding early? So, in fact, you, you mean... Yes. I'm your best Man. friend? Yeah, of course you are. Of course, you're my best friend.